The EMO25 extruder is for room temperature flow of liquids, gels, clays, pastes, and emulsifiables, especially high viscosity emulsifiables. This includes clays, precious metal clays, 3P quick cure clay, and stoneware clays, plasticine, Play-Doh, porcelain, and sucre. The COD25 extruder is for room temperature emulsifiables, which require photo initiation of cross-linking by a UV LED array. Alright, today we're going to talk about the EMO25 and the COD25 heads for the Hyrel 3D printer. These heads are designed for medium to high viscosity, room temperature, clays, pastes, gels, and emulsifiables. In earlier videos we've shown you how to load your material into one of these tubes. Uh, these tubes come with a standard one and a half and two millimeter nozzles or the lure tip adapter which comes with them and you can use industry standard lure tips. They range from bigger than 10 gauge to smaller than 30 gauge and they're available from a wide variety of distributors or you can get them from us. Now this is loaded by putting the 3 8 inch socket adapter end into the receiver, placing your tube, and just tightening it down with the provided wrench. All right. When you load this on your print head, these gibs have to go into the slots on the yoke. When you center your head, when you place it in there, this connector has to hit and mate with the connector on the circuit board to give power and signal to this circuit board here. The two and a half millimeter uh, screws here are used for adjusting the circuit board if you need to. This is your programming port, so if there's a firmware update that requires you to flash your head, so you just load up your ST link and flash the new firmware on there. The power and signal are routed up through this circuit board, through this uh, flat flex cable to drive the stepper motor. The stepper motor is connected to a planetary gear, in this case it's a 27 to 1 uh, gear reduction to give you more force at less speed. We also have 19 to 1, 51 to 1, and 100 to 1 planetary gears available. This drives a socket adapter which drives the, the screw which moves the plunger down and as the plunger goes down your head this rides up and down on that bearing. The same is true for the Crosslink On Demand COD25 head. The only difference is that it has this additional assembly on the bottom, which includes LEDs for photo initializing, for photo initiating crosslinking in your uh, your resin or material. So we load this the same way. Set that in there. Clamp it, load it the same way. These LEDs are controlled by your G-code with an M106 command, the same way that you would control the fan on the typical filament heads. Again, these are for room temperature materials. We have other heads, the Volcano and the Krakatoa, which are for higher temperature or higher viscosity materials. And we have the syringe dispensers, the SDS heads, for lower viscosity materials which use um, disposable plastic syringes. For more information, see highrail3d.com and highrail3d.net.